What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online, www.whatsupinthesky.com. Come check out the website, sign up for it if you haven't already. We got good forums on there, all sorts of information, uh, space news, all you know, stuff like this. And here we are back on the moon and courtesy of China and the Chinese space program. They recently did something that shocked me and it shocked a lot of people who are in this. They let out their whole archive from their third mission in the uh, Shangi 3, um, Changi 3, I think is how you say it. I had learned it before, Chandra 3 or something. Um, sorry if you're Chinese, and I totally just uh, bricked that for you. But check out some of these rock formations on this, and the beautiful color. Look at the shades you're going to see in these images, and there are tons of these images out there. I'll give you guys a link to this. The planetary.org uh, put these out. I have a link directly into the Chinese servers. You can sign up for them in the first link I'll put on the description if you go down below. I'll, uh, I'll make it so you'll see in that article, you can get your own uh, account. And I recommend if you do that, you use Google Chrome because you can translate it. Um, I set up an account, so I got access to these and even a couple more that they put out. Um, but here's the color images. They're absolutely gorgeous. And uh, here it is directly from them. I've done just a little sharpening on this one, but look how beautiful the color is. Uh, we're talking, uh, I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the color. And wait till you see some of the parts just laying around everywhere. The moon is um, looks to me just like Mars. Stuff all over it. Here, what's neat about it is there's no atmosphere. Like on Mars, a lot of the pictures we see and watch, we are looking through it. Although, although thin, there's haze. There's certain spots. But oh no, not here on the moon. Check some of this stuff out. And we're going to get into some of these. I've got lit up. This one was uh, sent over. Keith uh, Laney, my buddy, we, I sent him the link, and he had sent this one back over and was talking about the color. And uh, a couple of us were like, what are some of these things? Look at this thing up here. Very interesting. It's got pieces coming off of it. Down here in front of it, check out some of these, uh, these marks. Let me go take it back to how it was. Here we go down through here just pretty cool and I tell you this is from taken from the rover as it kind of just I, I had thought that the rover just stopped and, and that was it that's all we got for it check this piece out here what we call this remember the lunar dirt looks so gray where we were well not here it's not gray there it uh, almost looks like a big circuit board and these aren't JPEG artifacts because this isn't a JPEG image this was actually imaged with uh, as a PNG it came down as a dot image file Na NASA makes it hard to release these things in their actual raw formats they tell us that there's a raw format out there but if you read the website very carefully it says that they're not not really the raw images they're saved browse images so we've got to for China to release this much data it's, it's absolutely amazing and I hope that everybody digs into them I'm like I said I'm gonna be giving out the links to them check out these up here too or right, here we go check this out what's going on up here okay where are we sorry guys hope I'm not making you sick Oh, here we are, right over here. The whole place has some very interesting pieces, but check this out. Tell me that doesn't look like a piece of metal or something. And then all I've done here, this is how, directly out of came here. All I've done here is just sharpen it once. There's no JPEG artifacts because you can't, they're not in it. You know what I mean? That's what's amazing about how they released it. Uh, you didn't have to jump through a bunch of hoops to get a PNG file, to get an 8-bit file, an image file. Beautiful, huh? What is that thing? Check it out. It's got a long up around here. This piece comes up and over. It looks to have little pieces up at the top. And I even got it in black and white up here. Um, I wonder if we could just take the brightness and just brighten this whole spot up. Look at over here. See how this comes out like this? It's got a piece... Tell me this doesn't look like it's made for something. And this piece over here, it's got a little squiggly line on it. Now, this stuff is absolutely awesome. And look where you see, you don't, of course, the sun's lighting it up coming in from uh, in at the camera, at the rover. So you see the backside of everything's lit up real well. 
are the front side, you know, facing away from you. But the darkness, check out where you can see some of it. Well, look at the intricacy of it. This is pretty cool. And when you make it big, you really see so you don't get JPEG artifacts because it's it's that's what's great about actual. Uh, you know, raw images. That's what I've been complaining about. Now that I have access and understand the NASA database more, wait till you see some of the pictures we've done in the past. Check this thing out here. But tell me that's... I'm a, what in the world is that? The darkness of it, it, it is pretty cool. It, looks like it could just be rocks. just happen to be out there formed. But to me, this looks a little bit more uh, like something torn apart. Tell me this doesn't look like this piece could be part of over here. It's got straight lines. This almost looks like it was a, uh, a tube of some sort. It's a little broken right there. Um, but this definitely has... Uh, the top of it looks to have angles. You know, here you've got geometry in this. Pretty cool. I thought this... And you know, this is just the first one I've got my eyes into. This is because Keith uh, Laney had sent it over and he was pointing out the colors, which were awesome. But even more so, like look up here at the top. This is almost a perfect moon, half moon. And the other piece, whatever this is down here, is, is lit up here. So it does come around. You can see it because it's blocking the white piece behind it. It's just not in the shadow. So kudos. I tell you, um, China, China might just blow the lid off of the whole thing when it comes to the moon. Look at this th three looking piece above it. This is unlike anything we see. This is like unlike anything we've seen in the moon pictures before. You were used to a real fine dust uh, that that brings you up to rocks, like huge rocks. You know, some of them were huge rocks, but this is much more like the surface of Mars, if you ask me, or the surface of our planet. Now. The color alone is just amazing and I'm going to come down here and show you just some of the stuff down here next to it and let your minds wonder because I know mine did when I just zoomed in here check this out and just look at the intricacy and your eyes could probably make all sorts of stuff look at the colors and what the colors are actually in so like you know here's this is more purple look at the shapes of each one the color is what gives stuff away like, what is going on on the moon? Why is it so bright? Are there reasons? Because maybe some of it has this real brightness to it. Oh, couldn't use my tool, but... See the different colors? See how it comes up? And it's... It's almost... And watch, I'll flip it to black and white. So you can see it's, it's there. Look at the shapes, like in here. Guys, this is cool. And what's really cool about it is I've been looking for a reason to go back to the moon. I feel like I've abandoned it. And a lot of you people love the moon stuff. Everybody has their own, you know, parts that they like. But it's been time to do a little bit more than just Mars. And this has really just got me excited. The fact that they released it in such quality. I mean, let's zoom in here before we roll and take a look at some of these shapes. Look at this. 90 degree, 90 degree, 90 degree. These look like, uh, unlike anything I've ever seen. It almost looks like machinery. Oh, what do you guys think? Comment below, let me know. Look at the, where the brown is. Just check the brown out. Up and around, over. We are going to have some happy hunting. I will put the links below because I love when you guys hunt. Come to the website. Tell me what you found. Come to the Facebook page. Add me. Will at willferrard.net is my email. Send me what you find. Comment below. Come to the article. Like I said, there's many ways to reach me. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash Will Farrar. What do you guys see in here? I see all sorts of amazingness on this, this part of the moon. Wherever the jade rabbit. And when you turn it into this, uh, when you take the color out, the color really makes it pop. And uh, kudos for China for releasing it. And like I said, uh, I didn't even get a chance to come up here and take a look at all of it. The uh, the pieces up here that have this right here, just up here alone, is pretty cool. Let me check that out once again. comes up to a point. It's almost, it almost looks like a boat. But why would there be a boat on, Mar or on uh, the moon, right? 
And then this piece up here, just it almost looks like part of a statue. And here in the middle, it's just broken up, destroyed. And even looks freshly destroyed. Here in the back, doesn't. It almost looks like a piece of concrete. That's what I wanted to say earlier. A concrete block that was just long. And here would have been part of it as well. That seems destroyed. And where it's destroyed, it's kind of just like you'd see a building here. Uh, where part of the concrete was beat out or something. So, all right, guys. Much love to you. Hope you're having yourself a good one. Oh, there it goes. Sorry, hope you didn't make it sick there. What's up in the sky at 37? Check out the website. It's good to be back making videos again. A uh, lot to do, a lot to do. I tell you what, we'll be getting at it one at a time. All right, much love, guys. Peace.